you can actually switch the preview and make it higher, I believe. Um, but um, for right now, we're just going to leave it as it is. So what I'm going to do now is go to my layers, and I am going to name this. Let's name this graphic. Name your layers, always. And make sure you can spell, too. That kind of helps. And I'm going to lock this so this doesn't get moved around. Now I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to call this text. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now I'm going to go to my text tool. And you can do two things, okay? You can click and just hit, and then you can start typing. Okay, and then I can go and scale this up, make this really big, do whatever I want to it. Okay, or I can go back to the text tool again, and I can click and drag. When I click and drag, I'm making a text box. Text boxes are better, um, usually, for setting type, for laying stuff out, because I can fill this with tons of text. I'm just going to go in and get my text. I'm going to make this type huge. Okay. And I'm notice I'm just hitting these keys, and it only goes as far as the text box allows. Whereas if I go into this thing here, I keep hitting the keys. It's gonna go forever. Um, so you know if you're if you're setting text quickly and you wanna you know not have stuff flowing over the page, use a text box. Um, so anyway, what I'm gonna do is just type this in again. It rocks. Okay. Um, now also you switch view here if you go to window or view yeah, that's window I believe it is and I believe it's paragraph type okay under the type um, option so you go to window type and you see here this is where all the cool stuff flies out Apple T is for character it's viewer it's right here now I want to go down and I want to get paragraph <coughs> excuse me I want to get paragraph okay click on that. This brings up this lovely thing. This is how you center stuff. Left aligned, right aligned, justifi justified, justified centered, full justification, etc, etc. Um, I'm just going to center this for right now just because it makes it a bit easier. And I'm going to make this larger. And you'll notice the keys that I'm pressing down. Okay. Apple Option Shift and I'm using the period to make it larger and if I would choose I can use the comma to make it smaller and you'll notice up in the top the type growing bigger and the type going smaller when I say the top I mean right up here so check it out Okay, so I'm using just the keyboard commands. I'm not going in and clicking anywhere. And as I do that, this is growing. And the nice thing about this is, is I can slowly bring it up to exactly how I want it. And when it disappears, don't worry. It's still there. It's just gotten too big for the text box. So you got to make the text box larger. So <coughs> now we got this. It rocks. Ah, it doesn't really rock. The type's kind of nasty. So what I want to do is open up my type again. Now, I've got tons of fonts loaded in here. Okay, um, You may not have as many fonts as I do. And in fact, I've got millions more stashed away that aren't activated because it would crash my system. Um, and the point uh, to remember is that uh, try to keep as little fonts loaded on your system as possible. Um, the more fonts you load in, the slower startup times are, the slower everything gets. And you'll get to a point where you'll have so many fonts running on your machine, uh, especially if you're using Fontbook. Um, there are different options available. For example, I use, I'm just going to kill that for a second, I use Suitcase Fusion. Uh, Suitcase Fusion is nice because it allows me to basically preview a font and turn a font on and off as I wish. Okay. Uh, the problem with Fontbook is that they're all sort of kind of activated all the time. Um, 
and if you don't have a brand new shiny computer that may give you a lot of trouble down the road especially when your uh, your fonts get really big and you have a nice you know huge font collection like I do anyway so I'm just gonna kill that let's actually smashing fonts fonts from smashing magazine kick butt let's go to inked god I'm gonna turn this on maybe try VT VTKS revolt these are all free fonts by the way so thank you smashing magazine www.smashingmagazine.com if you don't know it go there check it out excellent resource for designers of all shapes and kinds so I turned on those particular fonts I'm gonna go in here and they should be somewhere VTKS revolt yeah I'm dyslexic today VTKS revolt excellent font now you notice ah, that's so cool I love fonts fonts are the most important things you can learn as far as you know design skills goes we're just gonna take that we're gonna place that right there <coughs> oh this is one font this is pretty cool that's a T that's an R and if you notice this is the R from the real art show um, branding that uh, I just did a little while ago and make sure to go to the real art show it is tomorrow Wednesday November 26th 2008 anyway enough plugging of stuff um, so now we got this cool font and totally man this this is nice it does rock right I mean this is this is more like it so you know we, we could leave it like that and uh, we could you know keep her like so um, but maybe maybe I want to do something different to it um, I can apply um, different opacities to this um, you know I can go up here in Illustrator and I can bring this opacity down now whenever I mess with this opacity just letting you know or any color filter such as multiply or anything like that in Illustrator um, it will rasterize it when it when it saves it and out outputs it to press which is why uh, at the very beginning we had the um, the rasterization option set to 300 ppi if we didn't it would rasterize it not at 300 but say at 150 at 72 uh, ppi which is very low res it will not look good man it'll it'll be bad and you won't get paid or someone will be mad at you huge uh, so anyway <coughs> this is the reason why we set things up cool in the beginning um, so but I personally you know if I'm gonna do any cool special effects I'm gonna use Photoshop I use Illustrator or InDesign personally um, to to typeset everything so what I'm gonna do first though I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna make another text box down here <coughs> okay and I'm gonna not pick VTKS Revolt I wanna say VKS Revolt for some reason um, I'm gonna pick something nice uh, let's see uh, we can just keep it stencil but la 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 I don't know where's Gil Sands I like Gil Sands it's a nice font Let's see, so we'll keep it regular. It's 132. Let's bring it down to 12 points. Ooh, it's tiny, isn't it? Often you get lost in, in what you're doing. So I'm actually just going to preview mode because I lost the text box there. You see, if I click off it, ah, where'd it go? So I'm going to go Apple Y. There's my text box. And click back on there and go back here. Now I'm going to go to my type tool. Okay, click inside. So let's see, what did we say? We were going to say uh, it rocks. Okay, B, uh, I'm just going to kill this, B, uh, Rockstar, comma, well, I guess we'll do a, get a Washburn, and I'm pretty sure that's how you spell Washburn, by the way. Right, so... So let's zoom out here for a second. Hmm. Well, a little understated, what are you saying? So what we're gonna do now is just kind of tweak this a bit. Gonna go in, select all this type, and again, I am going to use the keyboard commands to pop this up. Okay. Now I'm just for the sake of showing you guys what everything does okay 
this guy here.